Seeing Georgia's offense on Saturday night, it was really obvious what this team was missing. You go back and actually watch and see the players in the games, Georgia was able to move the ball successfully through the night, and ultimately they found some success running the ball late in the fourth quarter. But this team really needs some speed on the outside, guys that can separate and make those explosive plays happen. It's a lot easier to win when you're ripping off 75-yard touchdowns out of Brock Bowers against South Carolina and turning those explosive plays in the touchdowns instead of trying to connect on long drives that ultimately sometimes end up in field goals just because one play doesn't go very well. Georgia is expected to get some reinforcements there in that part because Arian Smith and A.D. Mitchell are both working their way back into the health. These guys are pretty clearly the fastest players, or at least the ones that have the best ability to separate from defenders in that Georgia wide receiver room. While you like that you have Dominic Blaylock and Marcus Rosemey Jack Saint making contested catches, Darnell, ja Darnell Washington deserves credit there as well for that ability. You'd love to see them make some opportunities for Stetson Bennett to have easier throws and windows to throw into. Smith and Mitchell absolutely get, present that for Stetson Bennett. You know, Stetson didn't play his best game. I think he'd be the first to tell you. I don't know if the, the, if the atmosphere got to him. Uh, you know, he kept his composure. Uh, he, he led two really good drives down the field. The one drive uh, before the last drive, he made some big-time throws. But he missed some throws tonight, and I think he'd be the first to tell you he didn't know. Uh, he didn't play his best game. And, you know, that's not all Stetson's fault. That's some of my fault, putting a lot on him on the road. That's some of Coach Munkin will take some of that. We all take it as offensive staff and a head coach, a head coach. Some responsibility of maybe we're asking him to do too much. And uh, I thought he did a, I thought he did a good job of what we asked him to do. He does have to be more accurate. Bennett admitted after the game that he's got to play better, and Kirby Smart said he needs to be more accurate. And if Bennett isn't throwing so many tight window throws, that should make things a lot easier. Smith played his first game on Saturday and finished with one catch for seven yards. And while he didn't stretch the field vertically, the hope is that he gets more and more reps in this offense. He's going to be someone that can take the top off. Obviously, we all know what Mitchell can do, and the expectation here is that he should be back next week against Auburn. If Georgia's able to get both of those guys back healthy and integrated into this offense, it should make things easier for this deep passing game and help Stetson Bennett and the rest of the Georgia offense be more explosive. Because you want to rely less on red zone efficiency and scoring touchdowns in that short area of the field, you might want to score some more 40 and 30 yard touchdowns to help ease things for this Georgia offense at this point in time. I didn't think the guy would be back, to be honest with you. I mean, I, uh, Ron you know, didn't, didn't think he'd be back as quick as he got back. He got back, he made a play tonight, showed some confidence. We need him. I mean, if he had been coming along at this point, I, I just got a lot of hope for him. And then the injury pulled him away again. And now he's back out there, and we got to find a way to get uh, AD back, and uh, we just got to get healthy and big lot out. Thank you.